So now let's say I want to select this object and apply symmetry to be right across here. But if I do so, you notice that I get this result right here because it's using its original orientation right here. So no matter if I use X or Y, no matter how I move this, I can't quite get it to go across here the way I want to. So what I will do is switch this from view to local, press Alt A, click on this object, make sure that for a line of rotation I have X, Y, and Z turned on, and then flip it or turn off flip, and now I'll just switch to X. As you can see, now it gives us a good result right here. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course, link is in the description. Let's continue. And you want to make sure you have local on because here, if I go into mirror and I have just view or world turned on, if I press Alt A now, you can see I get this result right here. Even though X, Y, and Z are all turned on, what if I switch this to view, also does not work. What if I switch to local, Alt A, now it actually works and it goes right across here according to this object's pivot because I press Alt A. Here what I can do is actually go into the snap settings and I can turn off vertex and face snaps and now I can actually snap these vertices to these faces right here. Turn off enable axis constraints. Here I want to get rid of these polygons right here. So what I can do is just activate by angle and just select the ends here and delete. And once again, symmetry, Alt A, and there we are.
So here, for example, I can just use symmetry, get this piece right here, or I can simply just clone it over there. But with symmetry, it remains as one object. So I can just apply it a poly on top and select these polygons. And control I and delete. I can just fix this up a little bit. Remember, the important thing is the shape and design. You can always fix the topology later on, but getting a good design is the hard part. And now I can just extrude through here. Symmetry and Alt A. So now we've got this kind of design right here. You can see how these multiple designs, all derived from the same object, are working together here. And of course I can continue modeling and refining here. Another thing I can do is let's say I want to get a piece inside of here. I'll just copy these modifiers. I'll just go into polygon level and by angle and just select all these polygons right here. Here I'll just decrease this, let's say 15, hold Alt and deselect this here. Now I can detach this as clone, select the new object here, flip all the polygons here, and paste the modifiers back here. And now I can just go into border level, select the border here, and just hold shift and extrude this inwards, and paste the modifiers back as well as turbo smooth. And here I'll just deselect the center edges and bridge. And insert a loop through here. And weld. And now I've got this piece inside of here. And of course this seam right here this is an after effect of how we clone it here so what we want to do is to remove this for example I can just weld right here and then remove this edge I'm just deleting so I know exactly where it's symmetrifying to. So now it's going from right to left and top to bottom here.
give this a darker material, for example. And now we've got this inner shape right here as well that we can also experiment with. we get some pretty interesting results just by using symmetry. So I hope these videos give you some ideas about how you can use Symmetry Modifier creatively to come up with all sorts of interesting new designs. Thank you for watching and take care.